Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be trying to wrap up the water material that we've been creating. Um, now, there has been a few things that I've done on my own time, and that such as, like, if you look right here, you can actually look, uh, look out and you can actually see, like, waves. Like, if you look, for instance, this little block right here, if you look around the corners, you can actually see the water moving up and down, and you can actually see the waves especially if I go to the instance that I have and let's say I want to turn up the waves uh, let's turn that up and then the wavelength is a lot smaller than that yeah you can see you can actually see the waves now I'm not going to do the uh, uh, actually create this, uh, this only because I actually got this from another dude's video and I thought it was a cool idea so that's the reason why I ain't gonna do it because I don't like doing what other people have done. But I will leave a link in the comments that you can actually go check out his video if you want to. And you can just follow along because that's all I did. I just followed along and created this off of it. But um, let me just go over and create that back. But there's a few things that I want to kind of go over in this video, and one of which is going to be, um, I gotta fix that some more. Now I'm going to go and I, there's a few things that I need to do in this video and for one being that if you look right here and let's say that uh, I actually got to compile this all right all right if you look right here and if you was to select the water plane that you have going and you bring it down you can actually see that it kind of distorts the bottom of it and the reason for this being is is we set this shoreline right here to be 100 meters to the closest distance but we never did account for the up and down because if you want it shallow you don't want it to be doing this right here and that's all that it did is it, it's just too shallow it's registering the wave effect that we have over here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut off the z-axis and the way that I'm going to do that is actually go to the material and obviously one more thing too is I actually created kind of organized everything a little bit and this up here is the wave is all the waves and stuff like that that I done but if you go down here select the distance distance fields distance field gradient alrighty and pretty much what this does, which I think I've talked about this already, but what this does is it kind of gets the direction, it, it, which it can be x, y, or z axis. And then it, let's say you wanted to get both, you can do like an absolute node, and it will also get x, y, and z, and the negative x, y, and z too. Or you could, if you, just want, if you wanted the negative x, y, and z axis, you could also do something like a, a 1 minus node to kind of flip it. But all I need is actually, I'm just going to do a multiply node. And the reason why I'm doing a multiply is because I just got to have some kind of value. And I'm not exactly sure. I, 100 will be plenty because it's probably too much. But yeah, 100 will be plenty. And then what I'm going to do now is I actually need to, I actually need to get the negative values for this. So I'm going to do a clamp of negative 1 and one okay yeah all right, yeah all that does is pretty much if you get the distance field gradients you will only register the positive values so I need to get the negative that's the reason why I done that right there and then I'm going to mask it only on the well, I need to mask it only on the X axis we're well, not X axis I meant Z axis Alrighty. 
And one more thing that I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to add a one minus. Alrighty. And just plug that. And right here, if I was to delete that, this right here is what y'all probably have. Because I actually just created that node just a minute ago. But yeah, uh, come off of this and then create the multiply. And then just bring it from that. What we just created. And then bring it to the alert node. Alrighty, now it should start working right. Alright, and as you can see right here, if you look at the sides, you can see the ripple effect going. But if you look right here, you actually don't see no ripples. And the reason for that being is it's the stairs is actually uh, close to it. So it's not going to do anything. Alright, we have the, the ground pretty much offsets the actual input from this. Alright, and you can see that all the ripples and stuff like that is still going to work. Yeah, the ripples right here still works, and then, but the stairs are just not. But you also do not have that effect either now. So that's kind of, that's pretty much what we're wanting to go for right there. Um, Another thing is, I'm going to go ahead and... I actually created a test level. And I'm actually going to go over to it. And this is all it is, it's just I created a landscape and added, kind of sculpted it out a little bit and then put my water plane on it. And then that's all I've really done to this. But now you can look across and it does not look very, like, it doesn't really look like water. So what I'm going to do is actually go back over to the, uh, Go to the water system, and I'm actually going to go to where our single layered water material is at, and bring that down a little bit, and bring those down. I'm actually going to copy and paste this up top. Then just place it into that. Don't need the one minus note for this one. Alright, and for this I'm going to call this water lighting. For this one I'm going to call this water lighting. Should be about it. Um, yeah, I think that'd be about it. Alrighty, and now if we go to our parameter or our instance of it and go down to where. Yeah, it should be in, in single water layer material. Well, that's the group that I made, it might be different for you. But I want to change the water lighting to kind of a bright blue color. Yeah, let's see what we can get going. And I'm going to make this a lot darker though. And for this one, I'm going to just keep it the same. But make it a little bit lighter. I 
need to change this a little bit. I'm doing pretty much is just kind of tweaking the, some of the parameters a little bit. We're trying to make it look a lot nicer. Um, and the only thing that's different from what y'all have done probably is this. These right here is what the direction is, meaning like if it's one, that means it's on the y axis one. And if it's this is up any, that means it's also on the y and the x axis. But I'm just going to leave it alone on it. I've just done tweaked all of those parameters. But yeah, I'll leave that this video in the comments below so you can go check his out. I actually recommend watching it before you watch this one. Now I'm going to uh, kind of tweak some of these parameters. Really. I think off of this one, probably around, I'd say something like five would be good enough. And I also added on this, on my, my version of it, anyways, I also added a parameter to where the function right here is. If you watch his video, I also added a multiply right behind the absolute root position. Just to kind of, just in case you're, just in case you're, uh, you want to change some of the stuff, make it the way smaller or bigger or something like that without having to tweak every little value, you can do that. Pretty much is about what I want. Obviously, you can tell down here, it that's not right there is what we want. But you also have to think about the actual landscape too. Like it's not doing that as much down here because I have hills and stuff like that. That plain is pretty much gonna be is almost lush with that. It's underneath it just a little bit, but not much. So you also gotta account for stuff like that too. And there's really no way of stopping that. You just might have to. I mean, there probably is, but I don't know of it. Um, let's see what else we got going. Really and truly, that's about all that I was planning on doing with this video. Um, 
One more thing that you have to do too if you follow along with that dude's video, he shows it at the very beginning, but you have got to create a new plane for the water material only because the ones that comes in Unreal, it only has four vertices and you need a bunch because each wave is using the vertices to go by. So if you ain't got no vertices, all it'll be doing is it'll be just a solid plane moving up and down. So you really won't have no waves or anything like that on it. Um, and that's that's going to be like that for anything that you use that has a world position offset, which is right here. Anything that uses a world position offset, you're going to have to have something with multiple vertices on it. All right. But yeah, that's about it on this one right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I'm not sure if I'll make more on this topic. If y'all want me to try to do something or anything like that just leave in the comments below and i'll if i don't know how to do it i'll try to my best to figure it out but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and end it here and i'll see you on the next one